today we are drawing a wolf howling at the moon. This was a request from Josh. And um, anyways, we I learned some fun facts today that I did not know. So what you might want um, is go get a bowl in your kitchen. I would recommend <laughs> because it makes life so easy. So that's, that is where I start. So if you wanna go, go get a bowl, come on back. Put the bowl smack dab in the middle of your page and you're just gonna hold it down and just go around the outside. Easy as that, and bam, we got a moon. It's a little wonky over here. Great, look at that. Sheesh, that made life easy. We now have a moon. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so now we're gonna put right in the middle, we're gonna do the, the wolf. So we're gonna first start off with shapes to make life easier. So I'm gonna make a shape where his chest is. So let's make, just to make a circle, just so we're like, okay, right in the middle, we've got a circle. And then off of that circle, we're gonna make an oval. Okay, so we have a circle and an oval. And then on top of that, I want you guys to make um, a square up here. Okay, so we have a circle, like an, if you made this whole thing an oval, an oval and a square. You're like, cool, that doesn't look like a wolf. Nope, not yet. Okay, so I want you to race inside those shapes so it makes them more connected. Just bear with me, we're gonna get this done. It's gonna look amazing, so amazing. I love silhouettes. Okay, so right off of this square, I want you guys to draw his mouth, I mean his snout. So it's just coming off and just come off over here. We're making his mouth open so it looks like it's howling. So you can erase right in there. I'm already seeing it. Whew, it's coming along fast. Okay, and then off of this square, I'm making the ear. So his ear is coming off there. Now, what you can do is now you can make some hair coming off. So I'm just gonna fling in some hair. We don't need to erase any of that other stuff because we're gonna end up sharpening it in. Um, sometimes I just erase it just to make it look like I understand what's going on, okay? And off this back end, come make it smooth. So start right here, make it off the back end and fling. And then we're gonna be having his tail. It's gonna have this, the hair coming off. So he has his tail coming off. You can erase if it makes you feel better or not a big deal, it's real sharpie. All right, now off of his chest, we're gonna do his leg. So his legs can come in, can be right off here, just smooth it out and make it come down like that. And we'll do, finish off. Now we're gonna be putting, he's gonna be sitting on a, um, a big rock here. So this is his one leg. We've got another leg. And now we're gonna do his back legs. It looks funny right now. Just uh, once you get the, the stone in there, it'll make more sense, but I think it's coming along great. Okay, so now we want to put in what he's standing on. So you guys can make it a mountain or whatever. Mine kind of looks like the, the Lion King when he's presenting the baby good Simba. So I'm just making like little jagged edges and then bringing it in however you want. All right, so we are going to, let's just sharpie and get it done, okay? Okay, I realize some of you might not have a Sharpie. If you guys wanna just use a black colored pencil or whatever you want, that's totally fine. After doing that, my hands are uh, pooped. Okay, so next thing you wanna do is get your gray colored pencil. Oh, we need fun facts. So we think about wolves howling at the moon. Okay, <laughs> fact is they're not actually howling at the moon. They're communicating with each other and um, they howl Howling is the most direct way to communicate across long distances. Why do they howl, you wonder? They howl to tell everybody else their location, maybe warning about a predator or a position of prey. Okay, so now we're gonna come in and lightly just gonna put in some like blobby marks of the craters of the moon. So you can just put them all over the place. Big ones, some small ones, 
Okay, so what you're gonna do now is um, just shade them in gently. Not too hard, not too soft, just like medium. Then, see how I made it darker here? So it kind of looks like it's in caved craters. And what are craters? I think that's when um, pieces of rock and other things hit planets and they make marks. So, like holes in the ground. Okay, so I'm making it darker along here. So it just looks like it's sunken in more. Go another direction if you need to like make it look smoother. See, I'm going a different direction. And then I'm gonna go really dark along this edge. Yes. Okay, so you're gonna wanna do that on all of them. So, um, lightly, I'm gonna go in, medium. Okay, and then I'm gonna go around the edge, darker. Color that in, and then try to blend it in by just getting lighter as you go into the middle. So it's not just like a super harsh line. And there's another one. What else do we know? Oh, I got some jokes for you today. What do you call a wolf that uses bad language? A swear wolf. <coughs> Shouldn't be using bad language. Naughty, naughty. Okay, here we go. I actually don't like when people use bad language. Makes me cringe a little. Yeah. I think there's a better choice of words out there. So as you can tell, this does not look like this, but that's okay, because there's lots of sides to the moon. It's always moving around. Okay. Oh, I should've got fun facts on the moon. I did not. So you're wondering, well, aren't uh, wolves and dogs related? Well, wolves are not wild dogs, I found out. That's from the National Geographic, so I don't seem like they probably know. They share common ancestors, but they're classified as different animals. Good to know. So you're like, what is the difference? Cause they kind of look the same. Um, the wolves have larger heads. They have pointier snouts and they have thicker teeth and longer legs. There you go. So we're making our craters. We're almost done with our craters. job and I'm gonna go don't go all the way to the edge but I'm gonna go leave a spot because I want it to be all glowy around there but to make it look more three-dimensional go around the outside like this just lightly and then bring it in light and we'll put some yellow around the outside so it looks like it's glowing bouncing off that Sun we used to get tons and tons and tons of coyotes where I used to live because we lived backed up to a national park, and they were always in our backyard, chomping on bunnies, yep, you could hear them. And they will be the eyes at night. And they don't usually bug humans, and they usually just come out at night, but sometimes you can see them walking down the street in the daytime. They do like little dogs, so you have to keep your dogs inside unless you're out with them. Yeah. <laughs> so, anywho, they're just hungry. They're hungry, hungry. Don't be eating my dog. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Okay, so you see the moon? So now you wanna come in with the yellow and just make a glow around the outside here. Okay, see how that's done? Great. So now I'm just taking regular blue and I'm gonna go around uh, the outside lightly. So I do a rim of light to make it look like it's glowing. So, um, so I'm just gonna do lightly around the outside. And if you think you've pressed down too hard, just come in with your eraser and you can erase some. And then right about here, that's when I'm gonna be making it a little bit heavier. And then as I'm coming out, I'm gonna press down harder and harder and harder. it's going out there in the darkness. 
so around the edges. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of black in there just to make it look really dark around the edges. One more joke for you. Yes, 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 lightly around the edges. What happens when the wolf swallowed a clock? He got ticks. Yeah, good one. You guys, um, I have a long list of suggestions from all my art students, but out there in the internet world, if you have a suggestion, just let me know. Or if you like the jokes or you wanna comment or just say hello, go for it. Okay, I turn my paper, just makes life easier. Cause it's harder just moving the hand around. Okay, so lighter on there, make it dark rim. And then darker, darker on the outside. Or if you want to send me some, some people out there in, in that world have sent me pictures of what they have done, and it's so awesome. I eventually I'm gonna make a scrapbook of all of the amazing artwork that everybody's done for my tutorials. It just makes me so happy. They'll write me little messages, or I've even got letters in the mail. I had to get my address for that. But you can always email me. I'm gonna keep turning it. You can email me at sharasart at gmail.com if you want. Or you can just write a little message in the comments below. Tell me about yourself. Okay. I had somebody comment, it looked like it was in Japanese or Mandarin or something. It's pretty awesome. I've had people comment Canada and I don't know how far away it goes, but it just brings so much happiness to me. Okay, so I'm gonna keep turning it. We are, look at this, we are cranking people. So I'm lightly around here. And I always love looking and researching and finding facts about like, what's, what's it all about? Like, I totally learned about wolves today. I'm like, yes, awesome. I might, is, I hate when it starts getting so low that it's, it's like nothing. And I just don't want to get up and, I even had a family text me and say, what kind of pencil sharpener do you use? So I sent them a picture of my pencil sharpener and my suggestion, I thought, that's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna take the, I would have pressed even harder, but I ran out of blue. So if you wanna make it even darker around the outside, I made it really dark. Then you can come in just on the edges on the black and you wanna bring that in and make that a bit darker. So I would make it darker, but my blue died. And then as you do it, press harder around the, right here in the outside and as you come in, just go lighter. Go out of the lines. Probably can erase that. Oopsie doopsie. So do this on all the little corners here. You only have three corners because I don't tell now. We are almost done, guys. So proud of you. I'm sure it's going to look amazing. Put it on your refrigerator. Or well, I know some kids, they have like their own like bulletin board or art wall. I've seen many of those. It's awesome. Okay, so you guys get the point. Going around, uh, I suggest adding more blue to make it darker. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.